uh, on the other hand, uh, while we're uh, you know talking about Lakshmi Vilas Bank, HIL's numbers uh, margins have improved quite a bit. So the stock as well is up almost about three and a half four percent. Okay. But let's do one thing. Let's uh, also get on board Varun Goel, who joins in from Mutla Loswal, and we have a, a whole host of experts. Mayuresh Joshi sitting by as well. Varun, hi. Afternoon. Uh, the market has been grinding lower because of global concerns. What do you do at a time like this? Do you continue buying your favorite stocks, or do you wait a bit? as there are big events lined up well i think uh, you know 5 6% kind of correction in the markets can happen any time and uh, global queues or even domestic queues could be a trigger for that at the end of the day i think one has to look at the earnings growth our sense is that we will end this year you know somewhere between 10 to 15% earnings growth in fy17 and it could get uh, even stronger in fy18 and uh, also we of course as far as high quality stocks are concerned where we see good growth we will continue to you know buy these stocks with a 3 to 5 year perspective Okay, let's uh, get some uh, BTST calls going because we have less than what ten minutes before the end of trade. Uh, Ashwini, what would your BTST calls be? See, Z is a sell with a stop of five twenty, target of four ninety. HDFC Bank is a sell with a stop of twelve fifty, target of twelve hundred. And Raymond is a buy with a stop of six hundred, target of six forty. Okay, uh, well, uh, Mitesh, your thoughts? Okay, Mitesh, uh, you will have to yeah. switch on your audio. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, please. Your BTST calls. Yeah. So Reliance is a sell with a stop at 1067 for targets of 1045, and the other one is a sell on Hero Motors, which I think uh, you can sell with a stop just above 3425 for targets of 3375. Okay. Well, uh, I think uh, today is the day we really want to know what's happening in the dealing rooms because we are ending the day uh, at uh, very close to the day's lows. Okay, we were at one point in time, maybe one one and a quarter down on the mid cap. Mm -hmm. Now we are down about one percent. So some last minute uh, short covering may have happened. But what happened at the dealing rooms, Mangalam? What did they tell you when you called them? Well, Lata, the one thing that is clear across the dealing rooms that I've called is the fact that there is lack of conviction on either side, on the upside or the downside, and that is what is impacting the markets. Because if you look at it, the dealers are saying that we are looking at only global queues as of now. There is lack of domestic triggers. So the global queues and U.S. elections are two things that will be on top of everyone's mind going forward, at least in the next fortnight or one month. And traders are also keeping a very close eye on the developments taking place in the U.S. Fed and across uh, the board monetary policies across the world and the currency movements across the uh, countries as well. And like I said, no domestic triggers. The second quarter numbers are largely seen tepid. And in light of the rally that we have seen, dealers are little apprehensive. And uh, the only positive is the fact that, that all, all through last week, the FII outflows that we saw was mostly on account of, uh, on a, uh, on account of ETFs and no long-only funds really taking some money home. They are, in fact, holding their positions. Today's trading session, FIIs are seen as sellers, domestic institutional uh, investors are on the buying side but still again we can expect the FIS to outsell the DIIs in trade today. 8480 to 8500 is a strong support that the dealers are talking about. Any number below that on the Nifty could take all the bets off and uh, in, in terms of individual stocks a lot of institutional actions seen in ICICI Bank today and tyre stocks all of them seeing some profit taking. The whisper on the street is that tyre companies are likely to reduce prices or something of that sort but some profit taking seen in the tyre stocks. Okay thanks Thank a lot for that. Well, uh, that's what the dealing rooms are suggesting, but we still have about less than five minutes before the day comes to an end. Uh, Varun, I wanted your thoughts on uh, what took place today in the private sector banking space, specifically with ICICI Bank post the SR Rosneft deal. That's been the stock of the day up 7%. Uh, how are you positioned there? Well, our sense is that I know uh, the concern about uh, you know asset quality of some of these large banks should uh, begin to get addressed. One, we have seen a significant uh, you know decrease in bond yields, and that is definitely you know resulting in big M2M gains in the bond portfolios of most of the banks, especially the public sector ones. And second, I think the loss given default scenario for a lot of these banks is going to be a lot less as compared to you know the numbers that we speak uh, or talk about today. So I think incrementally those banks which are geared towards the retail side where asset quality quality is good, uh, those banks will continue to deliver good shareholder returns. Okay, so you are buying PSU banks? No, I, I would think that we have already seen the worst in terms of asset quality. Selectively, you know, we believe that uh, we will see uh, you know, quality emerging. Of course, one has to be very, very careful in terms of the kind of corporate governance and the management quality, but I do believe that the worst is behind. 
Uh, Mr. Tulsian, would you buy any of the tyre stocks now that uh, the prices are correcting? Lata, in fact, I have been giving a cautious view and profit booking view, if you recall, you know, for last one week when I have said that the prices have seen running too high and yeah. I don't think that fundamental justify and when I gave a comparative uh, call on Kesoram that that looks better mm. if you really want to take a call. So I will definitely be kicking cautious view because the kind of run up which we have seen will not get justified by the Q2 numbers which we will see from all these tyre companies. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Kesoram has uh, dipped much less than the others you will have to see. So that stock remains strong because of the fundamentals but uh, a lot of uh, steam being let out. Uh, of these uh, stocks. Uh, Mayuresh, uh, would you all pick up any of the auto ancillaries? No, selectively, Lata. Again, I think if you look at uh, battery makers within auto ancillaries, I think uh, they are looking a long term compelling play because of the volume growth uh, that you are witnessing in the OEM market, the placement market doing well. But lead, lead prices have shot up, and again, the product mix uh, between uh, uh, the auto ancillary uh, makers, specifically on the battery side, I think that looks a little bit uh, subdued this time around. Even tyre makers, as Mr. Tulsian was saying, I think the run up has been quite sharp over the last few weeks. Uh, so, largely, I think be extremely selective at this point of time because the prices have run up and valuations are looking stretched. All right. Uh, well, we still have, what, uh, two minutes for the markets to close and I think now we can be very sure that uh, it is going to close uh, uh, well below that 8550 mark, 8524. That was the Lakshman Rekha and it's remained below that level for the entire uh, uh, duration of trading uh, practically, uh, ending with about 0.7% in terms of gain, uh, in terms of losses. Uh, Save the blushes, it was looking like it would end with a 1% in terms of losses and 8500 would be taken, but uh, it's just saved that for another day, uh, thanks to ICICI. That's the only stock uh, that's uh, uh, contributed handsomely to keeping the index a little hydrated goes home with a 7.2 percent in terms of gains next to it is ntpc uh, well ntpc really behaves like a safe bank on days like this uh, with its regulated returns so about two percent higher on that stock ongc is up 0.7 hul 0.6 so typical uh, uh, defensive play hul uh, sbi is the other gainer that is more a prospective positive that if the sr guys were to bring their uh, their Probably, I mean, they make all of about 6,000, 8,000 crores, mm. although they sold an 80, 86,000 crore uh, asset. Yeah. What they make is only about eight or 10,000 crore, less than 10,000 crore for sure, because so much is owed to others. Uh, so SBI up on that. Uh, otherwise, it's a sea of red, with uh, the maximum red being uh, reserved for those that gain the most. Z Entertainment down 5.7, Idea Cellular 3.3, Bosch down 3, uh, m, &M uh, Ambuja all down 3% apiece. Even the mighty Aisha, Tau, Aisha Motors down about 3% uh, mid caps. Well, in the mid cap space as well, Lata, you know, that's the disappointing bit. It underperformed today. It was down more than 1%. The market breadth was weak and uh, a lot of stocks came in for selling pressure. So, if you look at uh, all the vulnerable names, JP Associates, HCC, India Bulls Real Estate, Union Bank, HDIL, GMR Infra, DLF. So, whenever you see a sell-off, generally, these are the first uh, uh, casualties, uh, the infrastructure and the real estate space. Unitech as well down about 3.5%. On the upside, you have SR Shipping that did very well, up almost 20 odd percent. DCB Bank rallied to a new 52 week high, post its numbers. Ashok Leyland has been surging a bit, so that stock is back at the 80 rupee levels. And you have a couple of other mid caps like Built that did quite well. Built was up almost about 9 odd percent or so. But we come to the end of trade. It was a bear attack today. Definitely uh, the start of the week was on the downside. The Sensex lost almost 150 odd points. The mid caps underperformed. And it was only ICICI Bank that to the index stripped of that the market would have been much lower today but let's get some final calls in then uh, Varun uh, we saw Ultratech Cement come out with its numbers today and uh, the domestic volumes fell for the company so it was not as good as what one would have expected how did you react to those numbers and what are your thoughts on the cement space well I think incrementally things uh, I know should get a lot better we believe in the next two to three years we will see a significant ramp up you know on the demand side the volume growth should get a lot stronger and as the capacity utilization improves uh, even the realization side you know uh, could improve so the habitat partner numbers what we are seeing today there is significant headroom uh, you know on that uh, from this uh, levels of course we will also have to see which geography you know the company is present in and what are the realization trends there but overall you know I would think cement as a space should do well uh, in the next two to three years. Okay. Well, uh, Mr. Dulcian, your last uh, thoughts on ICICI. Is it good to go more? 
Lata, maybe some sentimental effect will be seen because this is seen a big positive. But actually, what I'm worried about the companies or maybe the ICICI banks' performance that you know you had a news flow about one month back or maybe 20 days back that they have sold the exposure to SR Steel, you know, to the asset reconstruction mm -hmm. company. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you wonder when the bank had the information on the developments. You know, even market was aware that group is looking to exit from SR Oil completely. You know, because ahead of the delisting move, mm -hmm. when the delisting move has really happened. A very hefty way. What was the logic? Why the banks are not proactive in recovering? Because you just can't create a compartment or create a Chinese wall for each company if the promoter is same. Mm. You just can't say that this exposure is to SR Global or this exposure is SR Steel or this exposure is to SR Oil or this exposure is to SR Power. Mm. So I'm not happy with the conduct of the bank, you know, which we have seen in case of ICICI Bank, and that is probably bothering to many of the analysts. You know, mm. you just can't focus only on this SR Oil news, which is definitely seen a positive. We will be seeing the mm. debt getting reduced by about maybe 50% to about 45,000 crore will get reduced. That is definitely seen a positive. But I don't think that people will really are seen very happy with the conduct, you know, on part of the ICICI Bank. And that's the reason, in fact, ICICI Bank and Excess Bank both are taking a, a, a beating and not responding to the news, which otherwise would have been very big. Okay. So, uh, so I just wanted to uh, tell you that I got a wee bit more detail about that write-off or rather that sale to ARC, not really write-off. That sale to ARC was their loan to SR Algoma, which is the US plant, uh, Algoma in Minnesota. Those went into bankruptcy. So those loans are unrecoverable and that is at, at least in the near, near term. So that is what got sold off, I understand, in both cases. So uh, there... Uh, Lata, if you I have the, the SR tag, there. you know, all the companies can have the personal guarantee, corporate guarantee yeah, and the holding that, That's a separate... Guarantee. Yeah, I, I take your ha, point. I, I agree, mm. I agree. That's what I use my word. You can't create a Chinese wall for SR oil, yeah. SR Minnesota or maybe SR power or SR steel yeah. or SR oil. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the point remains that now there is hope that they will be able to uh, get more promoter contribution into SR steel's domestic assets and hopefully a restructuring of that loan uh, will be done. Uh, there is some positivity over there. But yes, uh, personal guarantees would certainly have helped. Not taken at the right time, not given at the right time has been a loss to the banking sector. Uh, well, uh, uh, final thoughts, uh, Varun, what would you be buying now that the market seems to be correcting? No, we continue to stay quite positive on the auto ancillary space. We have seen a very good festival season so far. I think if you look at uh, passenger vehicles, if you look at uh, scooters, uh, premium and motorcycles, the volume growth in all of them have been pretty robust. Uh, auto ancillary companies, of course, uh, continue to be a big beneficiary of this big uh, sales trend. Uh, so we believe that companies which are on automotive cables, uh, on automotive lighting, uh, shock absorbers, all these companies should see uh, very strong earnings growth for the next two to three years. Okay, gentlemen, thank you for taking the time out as always and uh, chatting with us about the markets. It has been a weekday, the Sensex down almost 150 points. So, yes, the trend from last week continues into today as well. We'll take a short break, but coming up, Lata spoke with Chanda Kochar of ICICI.